Good morning YouTube and welcome to today's video. We hope you're doing really well out there. Today, Chloe and I, we're gonna be making something that we've never made before, using a meat, in fact, that we've never eaten before. That's because today, we're gonna to be making goat caudaletta, otherwise known as caudaletta kembenge. <laughs> I know I'm gonna struggle with this. Caudaletta kembenge. <laughs> I already know this is, <laughs> this is gonna be so hard to pronounce. Go on, <laughs> how do you say it? Calderetta and Cambing. I can't even remember what I said, but it wasn't that. Well, that's what we're gonna be making today, everybody. I'm gonna stick with goat Calderetta, and we're gonna be using the shoulder of the goat as well as the arm, which might be the same thing. <laughs> but we will be using Chevron, which is another word for adult goat. We won't be using babies today. That's a shame. <laughs> All right, bit of a weird thing to say. <laughs> I mean, lamb's pretty good. So. Okay, I see what you mean. It's all right. We'll gloss over that one. So that's the plan today. Goat caldereta is on the menu. <laughs> it sounds like a great menu. It does. In fact, caldereta comes from the Spanish word caldera. Caldera? Probably caldera. Okay. Another word. Caldera. <laughs> this has been so bad so far. Sorry, everybody. And caldera <laughs> is another word for cauldron because the Spanish actually bought caldera to the Philippines. I'm serious, they bought it to the Philippines 300 years ago and that's where caldereta comes from because it comes from the word caldera. <laughs> Intro's done. Okay, roll Cut. it. <laughs> okay. So the ingredients that we're gonna be using for the calderetang kembing. Calderetang kembing. <laughs> will include liver spread, which is quite an exciting ingredient because I got it recently for Big Old Express. Seasick. And we didn't use it. Because it wasn't in every recipe, but it is in every Calderetta recipe, so. And amongst liver spread, we're obviously gonna be using goat shoulder, as well as soy sauce, vinegar, chopped tomatoes, tomato puree. Carrots, onions, garlic, black pepper, red and green peppers as well. And maybe some potatoes. And maybe some potatoes. <laughs> Now, preparing the goat meat is quite important because it is of game style. It has a very particular flavor or smell, so you have to neutralize this. I read that on the internet. <laughs> Chloe. I guess it's just sort of like any meat. It always tastes better if you marinate it. If you don't, it has like quite a weird, strong meat flavor. What is our technique for helping reduce that meat flavor? Well, I've seen some people do some marinating in two cups of vinegar and pineapple juice or like buttermilk. Seeing as I'm allergic to pineapple and we don't have buttermilk, we'll just do the old classic of vinegar and soy sauce. Cool. And some garlic. We're going to do that now because as well, I'm kind of doing mid splits and my, my groin is about to tear. I'm put up with changes. Come pick me up because I just want to see the light. I wanna be weightless Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by yeah. I just see her face where Ever I look, she's standing in the crowd So I let go, let go I don't want to, but I'm gonna try when she Chef's Blade, the Filipino company that sent us this knife originally. Basically, I spoke to them because a few people have messaged us to say, although the knives are really nice, they are very expensive. And I don't disagree, they're expensive knives. So we spoke to Chef's Blade and they said they would give one of them away for free. Basically, we're gonna be doing a giveaway so you can win one of these knives. All you have to do is make sure that you've subscribed to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment below, anything you want, but comment below on this video 
and then you've just got to hop over to Chef's Blades Facebook page, give that a like, and then subscribe to their newsletter as well. Quite a few things, so what I'll do is I'll pop all the information in the description box. And if you do all of that, you'll then be entered to win one of these knives. I just wanna see the light. Now, Chloe, what's the plan? We are heating up the pan a little bit of oil, just waiting for that to get nice and ripping hot. And then we will just brown the meat, give it some flavor, some color, and then we'll saute our fragrance, stick the meat back in with our chopped tomatoes and get everything all yummy yummy in my tummy. How come you don't put it all in the pan at once? If you put too much in the pan, it'll cool down the pan really quickly and it won't brown the meat. It'll just sort of steam. You don't want, you want the meat to brown and get a nice crust on it. So you need to get the pan ripping hot and just put in a few pieces to make sure it stays hot. One other question. Um, how are you so pretty? Stop. Serious question. You're being silly. So I just need to add the onion to the pot now and we will saute it until the onions start to get a little bit translucent. Then we'll add the garlic and chilies and sort of let that cook through as well. So we're just gonna bring this up to the simmer now and then we'll let it simmer off for about 45 minutes up to maybe an hour and a half before we add in the rest of the ingredients and serve it up. So the meat is just starting to go tender. So we've added the carrots and that will go for probably another half an hour. And then we'll be adding the liver spread, potatoes and peppers before serving up with some rice. Are you excited? I'm very excited. I'm hungry and I have a headache. <laughs> Keep it up one more minute. Keep it up, you're so great. Standing, talking, you got me checkmate. No one's watching or nothing. I have cleared out the room. Also, that you can get to be the big spoon. <laughs> Well, calderete kambing. Calderetang kambing. Calderetang kambing. Calderetang kambing. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Tagai. Kampai. Kampai. Tagai hangang mamatai. Let's eat. <laughs> One note, we forgot to mix the cheese into this. So the cheese is on the side, but we can mix it in on our bowls. Mixy, mixy in the bowl. Mm, that red horse is tasting delicious. For any early adopters of our channel, by the way, I no longer ever use a knife. You're a grown man. You learn how to use a spoon. Like I'm a real boy. Yeah, well, you gotta grow up one day. My mom always used to say, son, when you leave home, you're gonna grow up. I left home around 15 years ago and grew up about a year ago. We've got a mixture of shoulder and arms as well. I don't really think that makes that much sense because the shoulder is part of the arm, no? In my opinion, yes. It is. I think I've taken quite a lot. You take as much as you want. After all, you did make it. I am pretty excited, but also somewhat- Apprehensive. Ap apprehensive. Thank you, Glow. I'm just gonna try some of this goat meat first on its own. Mm -hmm. It's pretty tender. It's had a good three hours, I'd probably say. It is tender. Mm -hmm. I got a really fatty bit as well. Okay. Mm. Mm. The fat would have all rounded out by now. Mm. What you'd have got is like a really collagen-y bit. Right, understood. Well, my first impressions of goat stew is that it's pretty good. Oh, what I find fascinating is the similarities of goat stew and um, 
Aphrodite. What's it called? Aphrodite. Aphrodada. Aphrodite. Aphrodite. I don't know what you're talking about. What's the Filipino dish? Aphrodite. Chicken Aphrodite. Not gonna lie, definitely needs salt. Well, I thought it tasted pretty nice. Interesting. I think I panicked at the end, convinced myself that it was too salty, so I added more water. I think the potatoes could have done with a longer time. I know, I followed the instructions. <laughs> They're pretty tough old potatoes. They're almost crispy, but they are edible. Mm, yeah, it's good. It's quite fun to have a tomato-based stew from the Philippines. Mm -hmm. It does taste very Spanish. I've got some bones, so I'm gonna do some marrow. I just got a bit marrow. That's good. Do you wanna try? Mm, I think I just got a bit. Thank you for sharing your marrow with me. I'll share my marrow with you anytime. That's very nice of you. This is good. Mm -hmm. The richness, like from the liver spread, is good. If we'd applied the liver spread to the seasick, the, the elements of the richness that it would have brought to the seasick, the seasick could have probably done with being a little richer. Oh, you think? Uh, not really, I can't remember. I think there's a bit of marrow in there. Oh, thank you. Oh, it just gets you, doesn't it? And one thing I read when I was researching goat stew, really good pollutan, goes very well with beer. Take our fork and we'll get some of that goat meat. We'll get a bit of the pepper as well. Cheers. Get it down with some beer. To guy. Mm. There's a lot to be said about trying different cultures, their food, their mm -hmm. traditions, their drinks. It's really fun. Mm, I like goat meat. It's like a milder lamb. We've not really had an issue, I don't think, either with the gaminess of the goat. Mm -mm. This goat is not too game. It tastes somewhere in between lamb and beef. I'm into it. I'd eat this more often. So would I. You got a bit of goat on your face, my love. <coughs> Let's take a moment as well to thank all the lovely people that recommended Calderetta. Mm -hmm. A lot of people recommended beef Calderetta, mm -hmm. but this is the, uh, I, I suppose, somewhat traditional way. The original, the OG. We were doing our research and this came up, so we thought we may as well. Seeing as we already had beef Calderetta when we did the mukbang. And no offense to that place, because that food is pretty good, but I think this is better. I think so. I love the thickness of the sauce. We haven't cooked in a way that's watery, it's very thick. It clings to. Oh, exactly, I was just gonna say that, it sticks or clings to the meat mm -hmm. really well. And not only is the meat already infused in the flavors, you get on top of this, this nice sort of cling film, fascia type of juicy tomato layering. I was in a real flow state. Don't you worry about it. Mm. The meat is good. I like goats. Me too. I like horses too. Horses are amazing, they're majestic creatures. I'd love to own a horse. I wouldn't know what to do with it. I just feed it. And like comb it. Mm -hmm. That looks super therapeutic, just combing your horse. No distractions, just you and the horse. Rubbing each other. Or maybe you could like stick your head by the, the horse's mane, tail, when it like flaps up. When it goes to do a poo. No, definitely not. I just mean when it's like flaps up, like it's excited. Does it do that when it's excited? I don't know, maybe. I thought it just does that when it needs a poo. Okay, well don't do that. Time to get the spoon, El Spoono. Oh, it's time to get El Hanzo in, surely, with those two bits of bone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Mm. I know. Ah. Mm. What did you do? I just stabbed myself in the face with the fork. That wasn't very smart. Go, Calderetta. Let's go. Mmm. Ooh, Maybe. Maybe. It looks like it. Mm, yeah, I just sucked up a lot of marrow. Marrow galore. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the tissue. Have I got loads of stuff on my face? No, you're perfect. That's not true. Mm. This is pretty well timed because this is like something I understand anyway that Filipino people serve for special occasions like fiestas or birthdays. Well timed, isn't it? Mr. Birthday Boy. Very well timed because tomorrow it's my birthday. We're gonna be celebrating something special. Also, by the way, this video is all way after my birthday. Mm -hmm. So. Takes us a while. 
the next video after this, we're gonna be doing a birthday special. Because he's a birthday boy. Mm. You want some red horse? No, I'm okay, thank you. you. Wanna do the outro? Uh -uh. So for the first time experiencing goat, I was pleasantly uh, happy. I really liked it. I like goat, I really like calderetta. I especially enjoyed the tomato-y flavor. That's kind of unique for me in any way in my Filipino experience so far. Oh yeah, for sure. And the liver spread was like a really nice, rich, hearty addition. Mm. I could have probably gone further with the with the potatoes. They're edible, but they're just a bit, mm. they've got a bite. Yeah, they do have a bit of a chew. They're still quite good, I quite liked it. It's quite nice to have that sort of semi-raw potato every now and then. And it's not like fluffy, it's raw, you, you disagree. It's not raw. No? No, that's not raw, it's just uh, a bit under. I really enjoyed it. I did too, it was great. And like a lot of the things that we've had from the Philippines, I will definitely have that again. For sure. That goes on the list of repeatable meals. In fact, most of them have been, bar one. And I think you can probably guess what that is for me. The Niguan? Yeah. If I was at a Filipino restaurant with a bunch of people and it was ordered and we yeah. were eating family style, mm -hmm. I wouldn't not eat it. Yeah. But I wouldn't order it. No, but I would definitely order Goat, calderetta, kembatin, kembai. I'd order goat, I'd order pork, I'd order beef. Do you do chicken? I'd order the chicken if they did chicken. Mm. All sounds great. Today, instead of asking you to subscribe, like, comment, I'm just gonna say thank you very much to everyone that has subscribed to our channel and to everyone that likes our videos and comments. It means the world to Chloe and I that you support our channel, you enjoy our videos and you take the time out of your days to leave us a comment. I think it's amazing. We hope you enjoyed today's video and we will see you on the next video for a little birthday celebratory fun. Bye.